Hey, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can have uh, thread local variables in C sharp and I will discuss two techniques. Uh, one is using the thread static attribute and the other one is using the thread local class. So let's get started. So to demonstrate I have prepared a simple program here which has a variable called count and I have one task and all this task is doing is initializing count to one and printing task one and the counter. Similarly, task two is doing the same thing but printing count is equal to two. And then I wait for all of my tasks and in the main I print the value of the count. So what you would notice that the value of task one is one because it runs first, task two is two and the main has whatever the value of that variable is. So you can see that this variable is actually uh, it's just the same variable shared by all three of these tasks or threads. So if you wanted to make it uh, so that all of these threads have their own version of this variable, you can add what is called the thread static attribute. And the easiest way to do that is just to say thread static. And now what you would notice is that each of these tasks have a different value. Task 1 has a value of 1, task 2 has a value of 2, and main has a value of 0 because we had we didn't initialize this. So it's uninitialized. So another uh, quirk that you can see in this thread static is if let's say if I just initialize it to say 9 here, uh, what does it do? If I just initialize it to 9, uh, whichever the first thread tries to access it uh, will have that value uh, that was initialized to uh, this here. So you can see that the main, uh, the console, the printout is happening after task 1 and 2 are run, but they have the value of 9. And this has a value of 1 and 2. So easy way to check this is just to comment these things out here. And if we comment these things out, here you can see the task 1 got a value of 0, 0, but this one has a value of 9, because that's what the first task was, whichever one was initialized. That's the other value. So, so another thing, if you wanted to make sure that this vari variable got initialized to some uh, known value, uh, you can use what is called the threat local. And I have uh, one uh, line snippet to initialize this and I'm going to paste it. So save some time here. So let's uh, do the same variable here. Now what it is, is a thread local generic int and this counter is of a type int and we initialize it. And we want to check the value of count. Here you can see the value of count is actually 5 in all of these cases. And that's um, because it's initialized properly. And if you wanted to just make sure that it's, we are getting a different value, you can say count is equal to 1. And actually since it's a thread local, you have to say count.value. And once initialized, it works here. And we can do it here, count.value. is equal to 2 and if we run it uh, you should get a different value see here task 1 has a value of 1 task 2 has a value of 2 and main has a value of 5 and um, so basically all three of these uh, uh, tasks have their own value of this thread local variable and you can also make sure that it's initialized to some uh, known state in, uh, and that's when the thread local comes in so thank you for watching this short screencast. I will add this on my website under Gore Associates, C sharp thread static attribute versus three thread local. And you have a great day.